All right then gang, so in this video I just want to show you how to create a very simple parallax dead easily with Materialize. So a parallax is one of those things where the background image moves at a different rate and you can overlay different images if you want to. In this one I'm going to focus on a very simple one. So below these two services we're going to have a couple of different parallaxes and then content between them. So let's head on over to the code and where it says parallax let's do our first parallax. So to do this, first of all, we need some kind of containing element, a parallax container. So let's create a div and give that a class of parallax hyphen container. All right, so inside this, we want to create another div with a class of parallax. And this is the parallax itself. And then inside this, I'm going to create an image tag and place in our image. Now, I'm going to use the stars image that's over here on the left. You can see that right here, stars.jpg. And... That's in the image folder forward slash stars dot JPEG. All right, so that is going to be a responsive image. So remember to do that to make sure it doesn't go way off the screen. We want to make this have a class of responsive IMG and save that. Now, if we view this at the minute, then down here, it's not really going to do anything. It's not a parallax. That's the whole picture there that's showing. We just want it to be a parallax so that the background image here moves at a different rate than we scroll at maybe. So to make it work, all we need to do is initialize this in the jQuery down here. So we want to grab our parallax, which is this thing right here. To do that, we'll say dollar sign, then dot parallax. And then we want to use a method on this called parallax. Very surprising, right? <laughs> all right, so now if we save this, then this looks a bit weird. So I've obviously made some kind of error somewhere and it is here should be parallax container, not parallax. Save that. And if we view it now, we can see this image right here. Now that's at the bottom. You can see if we do that slowly, that the background image down here of the parallax that moves at a different rate to this thing right here, the rest of the content on the page. If I zoom up, the actual image moves upwards, whereas the rest of the content is moving down the screen. Okay. So that's a simple parallax for you, but to get the full effect of this, I think what we need to do is make content below this. So let's come down here where it says services and tabs. Now create a div with a class of container, and I'm just going to put a load of dummy content in here for now. So I'm going to paste in these P tags three or four times or five times, save that. And then if we scroll down below that, now we can see that content right there. So I'd like to do another parallax as well. So let's just copy this and paste this one down here so that we've got two. And then what I'll do is place some dummy content beneath this parallax as well so that we can go beneath it where the contact form is. And we're going to change all of this out later on. This is just so we can see the effect right now. OK, so if we save that now, then if we go to the top, we see this first parallax, which looks pretty cool. And then this second parallax, which also looks pretty cool. But we want to change the image of one of these two things. So they're not both stars. So how about we go to the first one up here and we'll change this to a different image called street.jpg. OK, so now we get that different image at the top. So if we scroll from the top, we come down here, we can see that image the parallax moving and then the stars beneath that. And this is going to look better when these two sections, this one here and this one here are populated with a bit more content. So it's less kind of parallax heavy and more content heavy with the parallaxes in between. But that's it, guys. That's how we just make these simple parallaxes in Materialize. Very quick, very simple. We need a parallax container, then a div with a class of parallax, then your image. And then all we need to do is initialize those parallaxes as so right there.